Hello people, let's dive right in. First off, uh, make sure you have your second view opened. So press on view and select two viewports. Then press on your camera and press on preview. So right there, preview. So you'll, you'll be able to see your camera. Then we're gonna add uh, the, th the sword. We can put it right there under player. So it will be nice and centered in the scene. We can add a new node 3D. Take the sword, put it under the node 3D, and rename the node 3D sword point or weapon point, whatever. Uh, this is because when we animate our sword, uh, we want to make sure that the animations will be uh, translated to every single sword. So we can put many weapons under there. We're going to animate only the sword point. So everything under it will be animated too. We can place the sword in the view so it looks nice. So that rotate it this way good this looks fine for me oh good we can press play perfect looks good so now as you can see the camera uh, the sword is not following the camera uh, there's an easy fix just put the sword point under the camera 3d and now it should follow now it follows nicely good so then, uh, there's one little problem with this method. Uh, I'll just show you. Uh, the camera, the, the sword clips into the wall. So a very easy fix is to take the sword. So in our case, we're gonna take the, we're gonna take the sword point. Go into uh, scale. So into the transform uh, scale. So put it at 0 0.5 and put the sword closer to the view set it to 0 0.4 put the sword closer and closer to the view and as you can see now we don't see the difference in uh, the viewport but in reality we have a super small sword what this will do we can see we cannot see the difference but when we hit the wall uh it doesn't go inside of it i mean if i turn yes so we're just gonna make it even smaller so we're gonna go 0 0.1 let's go super small and just move it closer and closer and closer to the view and at one point we're going to get what we want so this seems perfect and as you can see the the sword is literally inside of the player inside of the collision so there's no way the sword will clip into the wall because it's inside the player so as you can see now works perfectly fine uh, it clips with the, the little wood thing uh, because there's no collisions to the, the wood thingy. So it's a detail, so it doesn't really matter. But as you can see, it doesn't clip. And even though, even if I go into trees, it doesn't clip. So that's an easy fix. Then we're going to add an animation player. We're going to create a new animation that we're going to call uh, Sword Swing, just like that. Then we're going to go on the sword point. And we're gonna press right there on the little keys to insert. Uh, yes, we want to create a new track, and yes, you can create a reset track. And the same for the rotation. So same, just like that. Then uh, let's go to the end of the animation and just select those two keys and press Control D. So the end of the animation will be the same as the beginning of the animation. So the sword will come back at its original position and then right there we can make a simple swing so it will just be um the the sword will just swing this way uh maybe a bit forward because it will this way once the new position of the sword is okay for you just press on the keys to insert them and now you can press on the play button right there on, on the space to preview your animation. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Uh, you can press on the loop button right there. So the animation will loop. It looks perfectly fine. Uh, make sure you untick the loop button because this loop uh, option will also uh, be activated in the game, not only in the preview. So the animation will loop indefinitely once we uh, make it play uh, only once. So make sure it's white. Good. Now that we have our basic animation, uh, we can go into our player, player script, 
and create a function that will be our attack. So function attack if uh, input so input does dot is action just pressed uh, attack. We're gonna get our animation player dot play or swing, and we're gonna reference our animation player. So unready var unready var animation player equal dollar sign animation player perfect so if we press attack we play sword swing uh, let's put a cooldown to our attack so a uh, very simple way to do it we'll just create a variable we'll call it on cooldown on cooldown so it will be equal equal to false and on cooldown equal false so if we are not on cooldown we will play the animation then we're gonna add a timer that's what we're gonna call attack cooldown we're going to reference it right there so on ready bar uh we're just gonna call it cooldown here equal the attack cooldown and then we're gonna say cooldown dot start and cooldown will be equal to true. So when we press attack and there is no cooldown, we sword swing, we set the cooldown to true, and we start the cooldown. Uh, right there, the wait time under the timer will be our cooldown. So let's let's put it to one seconds. But we're gonna reduce the time of our animation because I think it's a bit too slow. This should be fine. And don't forget to reduce it there too. So 0 0.7, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. So now we have a 0 .2, uh, 0.7 long animation with a one second cooldown. This should be working perfectly. Um, just one more thing we have to do is when the, the timer ends, so on the timeout, so we're gonna go into node signals timeout we're gonna double click on timeout and connect the timeout to the player. So we're gonna press on connect. So on attack cooldown timeout, uh, we're gonna set cooldown to false, just like that. So this should be working fine. Let's test it. So we have our sword, a clipping. We can. Oh, we did not set our input or our attack input. So we're gonna go into input map add attack and attack will be left click so mouse button left mouse button <laughs> we have to put the attack under the process function so attack do that now it should work <laughs> good it works so now the sword swings uh the animation is very 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 basic but uh, you can certainly uh make whatever animation you would like um, I think the cooldown is a bit too long, so let's just fix that and set it to 0 0.8. This should be, uh, this is the pretty much the same time that the animation, this is perfect. So 0 0.8. So I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and, sub and subscribe. Uh, see you in the next episode.